Hello again and welcome to Tips with Andrew. I am Andrew Sapiano. Thank you so much for joining me on this happy Tuesday. I hope you guys are having an awesome start to your week so far. Rocking out whatever goals, hopes, plans, dreams, ambitions you have and are currently making it happen. Yes, yes. Um, quickly before we get started here, uh, convention tickets are officially on sale. It's doTERRA's yearly event. If you at all are interested in uh, essential oils, um, um, alternative wellness, living a holistic lifestyle, right? All that natural goodness. This is definitely not an event that you want to miss. This is actually one of my favorite times of the year. I love it. It's like it's, it's my version of Christmas. Um, there's you know, it's a week long gathering of, you know, awesomeness just happening all over the place. Um, inspiration, education, um, you know, new oils, exclusive products that you can only get at convention time. So yeah, I'm, I'm definitely super excited about it. If you're interested at all, definitely reach out to me, drop me a comment, send me a message and we'll get you rocking and rolling. Also, I am taking um, free consultations. I'm booking free consultations now for life coaching services. If this interests you at all, um, if you are interested in turning your life around, getting help um, on specific subject matters, definitely reach out to me, drop me a comment, send me a message, and we'll get you rocking and rolling. Whew. All right, let me, <laughs> let's, get, let's get into today's topic. I, I can keep going. There's so many different things going on over here. I could, I could keep going on and on. What a great time to be alive, right? We are, what, halfway through, a little bit more than halfway through July 2022. Holy guacamole. It's... Time is literally just flying by right now. Like we were just, you know, had the pandemic or we had the shutdown, right? And then we had, uh, and then, you know, all of a sudden now it's two years later and it doesn't seem like even, you know, a couple weeks has passed, right? So definitely what a great time to be alive. I'm super excited. Let's get right into today's topic. So today, actually what I wanted to talk about was something that is prevalent pretty much in every aspect of our lives um, you know, regardless of what's happening and it's our, it's our incessant need to have people's approval of over what we do. Right. And this is inherent or it's, it's really ingrained from us. Uh, you know, as, as children, we, uh, you know, we need to be told or we need to be approved of everything. Right. We need to be uh, told that what we're doing is right. And if, you know, if something's wrong, we need to try and figure out how we can do it. Right. So we have this incessant need to have other people's approval. And one of the things that I actually read about this one, one of the quotes that stuck out to me more than anything was, we care about ourselves way more than other people, and yet we care about other people's opinions about ourselves way more than we care about our own, right? So that's really the, you know, that's what's happening in our lives right now. And that's the thing that we need to change. That That's where it needs to change, right? From the fundamental level of, of requiring other people's approver, approval in order to live the life of your dreams. I mean, it even just saying it, right? It, 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 it's, it just sounds so, you know, that, that is so against what you think you should believe in that it's, it's almost crazy to even think that that's what happens, but that's definitely what happens. I'm, you know, I'm a, a, a victim of it too, right? It happens to me all the time. I catch myself all the time being judged by other people, um, you know, requiring myself, you know, other people to, to, you know, really understand what I'm doing. And it's, it's, it's a real process for me to get over, but it, I, you know what, I'm actually having really a, a really fun time getting, uh, getting through that process and figuring out. And that's where I wanted to come on and give some tips to help me, right? These are some things that, that I'm using in my life. I, you know, and they're helping me and hopefully they help you too. Hopefully you get some value out of it. And who knows, maybe use one or two of these in your life. Rock out those goals, hopes, plans, dreams, ambitions, and and make it happen. Number one. So the number one first thing you need to do is to understand that people have opinions. People have opinions. They love to talk. They have ideas. They're so smart, right? Just ask them. Just ask somebody else for their opinion, and I promise you. Actually, I let me let me go back on that a little bit. Ask people about their opinion about you, and I promise you, they will have a laundry list of things to tell you. Ask other people about their opinion about themselves, right? And they were like, well, you know, I, 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 I'm a nice guy, and I, you know, follow rules. 
<laughs> wow. Man, your dating profile must just be... <laughs> people must just be knocking down your window or your door to get into your house, right? So that's where... That's where you really just need to understand that no matter the topic, right? Life, events, um, you know, po politics, religion, um, what, raising your family, uh, getting a new job, staying at your job, um, you know, what you should eat for dinner. Everybody's got an opinion, right? Everybody has opinions. Everybody has their way of thinking. And you just have to understand that, you know, and this is actually, this is what really what you have to understand more than anything is that my quote that I said right off the hop, um, you know, we care way more about ourselves than we do other people. And yet we listen to other people's opinions way about ourselves way more than we do our, our own. Right. So that's where you have to understand that people are totally willing to give you their opinion of you but they won't really care about themselves. And they totally, you know, come across as caring about you. And this is really one of the things that I had to learn, right? Is everybody's got an opinion on the way that you should live your life and what should actually be, uh, you know, what should actually be done. And I, I really am still learning what constitute as caring, right? Quote unquote, versus just meddling, right? And, and, and annoying <laughs> and, and, you know, just, leave me alone already right and 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 i don't know you know mothers are the worst for this they, they everything they do is just caring but everything they do is borderline annoying right so that's where you just have to understand is that you know people are right people are annoying <laughs> when it comes to you and also people don't like you doing better than them right they, they don't like people that are better than them. Anytime something like that happens, you hear it in their voices, right? You can just tell that they don't approve of, you know, this person that's doing better than them. So they always have an opinion. So just understand that people are always going to have opinions, good, bad, or in between. They're going to definitely have an opinion. Number two, avoid overthinking. One of the things that I learned about this was um, the problem is not the problem. What you think about the problem is the problem. And that's it right there. The problem is not that people are meddling in your life and, you know, that people are, you know, trying to get you down or they are just trying to get you to think the way that they're thinking. The problem is the way that you think about the problem, right? The, you think that everybody is trying to control your life. You think that, you know, everybody is, 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 just, is just, you know, quote unquote, out to get you. Right? And that's where you need to just get out of your head. This is really one of the things that you can, this is one of the things that I like, I, one of the reasons I like to journal things down, right? You, you got to get out of your head. Can't trust your memory, right? Because your, your head will create this huge problem in your head that is, it may not even be a thing. Like it may not even be a problem. And yet you've created this big outcome of things that, you know, is, is the worst possible thing in the world. And if you continue on this path, you know, people are going to hate you and they're going to ridicule you. And, you know, they, then you start getting that imposter syndrome, right? Who am I to be doing this? What, uh, you know, what is even really the benefit of this? Is there, you know, a benefit of this? And, 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 that, and that's where you can start really getting in your head and you can really talk yourself out of doing things because you're just overthinking it and overthinking it. And the problem with that becomes is that once you start thinking, then you stop doing, right? And then that's a, not a problem until it starts compounding, right? And this is really what happened to me a lot of, this is what happens to me is that when I start thinking and I start, or not start thinking, but I start overthinking and overanalyzing, I stop doing. Right, and then I stop progressing because when we stop doing, we stop progressing, we stop moving forward, and we stop, you know, really uh, you, uh, getting that hunger for the, the that next chapter of our lives. Right, so that's why we need to just avoid overthinking about the problem. Understand that people have opinions, and understand that we are going to take their opinions, and our brain is just going to run wild with it. Right, our brain is not going to. It's also not going to tell you what you think they're saying. It's going to give you a perception of what you believe they're saying, right? So at that point, you're not even looking at the words. You're looking at what's behind the words. You're not even listening to what they're saying. You're trying to comprehend what you think they're saying. And that's when, it's, <laughs> right? That's the snowball effect. Number three, decide what success means to you. You have to understand, you have to know what you're looking for, right? So 
when people start giving you their opinions and you're overthinking it, you're overanalyzing, and you just don't know <laughs> what the next step forward is, you need to come back to your 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 foundation, right? Your uh, you know what what success means to you, right? What do you want to do? Is this something that you even want to do? What are we doing? Are, are we losing weight? Are we trying to start a side business to get us a little bit more money? Are we trying to, uh, you know, step into that new career that we're looking for, that transition period? Are we trying to tell a loved one, right, that, you know, this is a, a, a new um, uh, chapter in our lives that we need to take very seriously, right? This is all something like, what, what does success mean to you? Are you on the other side with your partner? Are you, you know, in that, you have to, you have to, deciding what success means to you is understanding what is going to happen when you get into that new version of yourself, right? So when you lose that weight, there's going to be a new version of yourself. People are going to look at you differently. People are going to talk to you differently. When you start making a little bit more money, again, people are going to look at you differently. They're going to think about you differently. They're going to talk to you differently. They're going to want to be around you differently, right? So all of these things are going to be different. When you step into that new relationship or that new chapter, right? Everything about your old life is going to be different. So you have to understand that you are getting into a new relationship, almost quote unquote, with a different person, but it's not a different person that you're with. It's just a person that is, is you know, is evolving, is growing. It's, you know, it's nothing more than a Pokemon character, right? You start out this little, you know, Pokemon, start out this little thing, evolve, and then you keep evolving into new, into new, bigger, better things, right? That's the same as us with, as people. If we're not constantly growing and evolving, then, you know, what are we even really doing? And that's where we need to understand that success for us is going to be completely different than other people. There's what, seven, almost eight billion people in the world? And I guarantee you that there is seven, almost eight billion <laughs> different ideas of what success looks like because there is that many different personalities. There's that many different thought processes. There's that many different ways of being, right? So that, therefore, you have to understand what success means to you, and you also have to understand that success means something different to other people. <clears throat> and if you talk to 10 different people about what success means, chances are you'll get 10 different versions of more or less the same thing, right? But everybody will give you their opinion on how to get there and what you should be doing. And you just need to understand that, you know, people have opinions, but you also have to understand that, you know, sometimes people are doing it, they're giving you their opinions because they think it, it can help. So you actually have to think about maybe this can help, maybe this can bring me closer to success that I'm actually seeking. Number four, right? We talked about other people this whole, this whole time. Be your own hero, right? Be the hero that you need. Be the person that you need to be there when you need them, right? You're not always going to be able to have uh, the, the benefit of leaning on somebody else, of being able to, excuse me, to call up other people, to you know, to do, uh, you know, to, 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 to converse with them. So that's where you have to you have to just understand that at a certain point you need to do things for yourself. Nobody, right? I don't it's <laughs> it's not meant to sound mean here, but nobody cares about you, right? Nobody's coming to knock on your door to make sure that you are eating the vegetables to lose that weight that you said you're, you, you wanted to lose. Nobody's come and knocking on your door to make sure you made those phone calls that you said you were gonna make because you were looking to make that, the, the money on that side business, right? Nobody's come and knocking on your door to make sure that you went out and, and, and converse with 20 different women because uh, you, you said that you wanted to, to, to get a, in a relationship and really progress your life further that way. Nobody cares because everybody's too concerned about their own life, right? Everybody's got, everybody's got the same to-do list that is longer than you can see, right? And so everybody's got a whole lot going on. So as much as <clears throat> it's not so much that they don't care about you, it's just that they have so much going on in their own life. Think about your own life for a, for a quick second, right? And think about me. I, I'll just tell you my life for a hot minute here. I go to work for 10 hours a day and then I sleep for eight hours a day, right? <coughs> 
the National Society of People that tell you that it's good for you says that in between seven to nine hours of sleep a night is, a, I, is the ideal that, amount that you want. And that's where you get the eight hours of sleep, right? So 18 hours of my day is already gone by the wayside. That's it, game over. So out of 24 hours, I only have six hours left to do everything else that needs to be done, right? <laughs> Cooking, cleaning, laundry, we don't have kids, thank you know, thankfully, because we that would just be another thing that we'd have to that we'd have to add on to it, right? Not that we don't want kids. Kids are awesome. It's in the plan. Like I said, stuff's changing around here. So that's where you just have to understand. Be your own hero. Be the hero that you need. The the, the show up for yourself, right? For yourself. Do this for you. Don't let yourself down. You can let let down anybody else in the world that you want. Don't let yourself down. Be your own hero. Come through for yourself. You don't normally come through for yourself. You're normally the. It, it, it's normal to want to not um, uh, to to let yourself down, right? To 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 want to please other people and to not really care about whether or not you please yourself. Switch that. Please yourself. Don't worry about pleasing other people. My last tip that I got here is to ask for help, right? Life is hard and <laughs> we just mentioned, right, the to-do list longer than you can see, people's opinions all over the place, everybody giving you, you know, their thought process and how you should do things and the way that you should live and, you know, it can get very overwhelming and it can get really stressful to a, to a certain extent, right? And you can, <laughs> you know, every once in a while, you just need to take a little bit of breath. That's where I come in, right? Consider booking a free consultation with a life coach like myself and you know, get on your way to having somebody in your corner that can help you, um, you know, organize your thoughts, rearrange your thinking, and maybe put a plan in, in action to get you out of this cur current, you know, maybe funk that you're in, and you know, get you on your way to living your dream life that you know you want to have. That's all I got for you for today. Thank you so much for joining me. I really hope you guys enjoyed this. I know I had a lot of fun making it. Feel free to share this with your friends, uh, family member, perhaps somebody from your team that you feel needs to hear this. If you'd like to learn more about essential oils, um, how to get your hands on some of this cool stuff that I'm talking about, booking a free consultation with a certified life coach, definitely reach out to me, drop me a comment, send me a message, and we'll get you rocking and rolling. Thank you so much for joining me. I really hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your day and an even better week ahead, and I look very forward to talking to you again. I love you guys. Bye for now.